I am Anil Kumar. We are discussing how to solve different kinds of inequalities in these set of videos. Here we have an inequality which involves absolute function. Let me teach you a very easy way of solving this kind of inequality. The best solution or the fastest way of solving this particular question should be using graph. Right. So we will actually use a graph uh, approximately to solve this particular question, right? So let us graph 4 minus x square. 4 minus x square, and then we will draw absolute value of 4 minus x square, and then third step less than 1 and find the solution. Okay, so let's begin first step. Let me sketch for you the function 4 minus x square, right? So 4 minus x square means inverted parabola move four units up so it is kind of function which is like this is it okay so that is that is how the function will be and this is the first step so our function here is 4 minus x square so this is this is the function so we can say y equals to 4 minus x square that means a parabola which is inverted I mean going downwards with x intercepts at these are minus 2 and plus 2 and the y intercept is at 4 so that is the parabola 4 minus x square now when you do absolute function then what really happens whenever you do absolute function that means now let us sketch absolute 4 minus x square absolute means always positive now this part is positive that is fine but this part actually be reflects on the y on the x-axis so it will be instead of going like this down it will be kind of like this up right so it gets reflected so this becomes your parabola center part and the other part is reflection of initial parabola and that is the function 4 minus x square Do you understand the concept so now we have graph of graph of 4 minus x square absolute value so everything is non-negative now the question is we need to solve the inequality that this is less than 1 so let me draw a line a horizontal line here right so let's say this is the horizontal line y equals to 1 so that is the horizontal line and of course this line will intersect the graph at a couple of points as you can see it intersects at four points right now when we say that this graph is less than this then we know the solution should be that is the solution interval between these two right and the interval between these two right now this is not to the scale so but this has to be very symmetric right we know it's an even symmetric function right so so that is what we are left with so basically if you see we are looking for values 4 minus x square equals to plus 1 or or minus 1 right so if it was originally here this point was kind of reflected right so that is what we are looking for now to get these two points what we can do is we can solve for 4 minus x square because it's absolute value equals to 1 and we can also solve for 4 minus x square equals to minus 1 so we get these two points and the interval between them will be part of our solution is that okay let's solve so we bring x to this side 1 to this side so we get 4 minus 1 equals to x square or 3 equals to x square or x is equals to plus minus square root of 3 is that okay so that gives you two points this one here is minus square root of 3 let's do this also okay then we'll put the value okay so so let's do this one also here we have we'll bring one this side so it becomes 4 plus 1 equals to x square or x is equals to plus and minus square root of 5 and that's why I stopped so the outer side is minus 5 and plus 5 square root and the inner side is minus square root 3 and plus square root 3. Correct? 
So these are the points of intersection and the interval between them is our solution. So now we can write down the solution. We say solution is that x is between since it is less than not equal to minus square root 5 to minus square root 3 right and that is union square root 3 to square root 5. So that is how you can actually understand and solve with the help of a graph. Correct? So that is an easy way of doing it. Now I like you to solve the same inequality using other methods. I have given you solutions with other methods in different videos. I am providing you a link for that. So, so what we can do is we can do 4 minus x square is less than 1 absolute value. It implies that 4 minus x square is less than 1 and is greater than minus 1. So what you need to do is solve this inequality which is a double inequality for you. So we have 4 minus x square is greater than minus 1 and is less than 1. Algebraically you can solve this and find the solution. The answer is before you. Also check with my links so that you can easily do this part. This is a very tricky question. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.